Hello students, in the last session we studied that an equation which involves unknown functions and their derivatives with respect to one or more independent variables is called a differential equation. We also learnt about order and degree of differential equation. Today we shall discuss about general and particular solution of differential equations. Before we begin, let us check the solutions to the problems given for the home assignment. Question number 1 dy by dx minus cos x is equal to 0. Here the order is 1 and degree also is 1. For the second x y into d square y upon d x square plus x into d y by d x whole square minus y d y by d x is equal to 0. In this case the order is 2 and the degree is 1. In the third y triple dash plus y square plus e to the power y dash is equal to 0. Here the order is 3. The degree is not defined as it is not a polynomial equation in its derivatives. Now let me tell you what do you mean by general and particular solutions of a differential equation. The general solution to a differential equation is the most general form that the solution can take and it does not take any initial condition into account. Particular solution to a differential equation is the specific solution that not only satisfies the differential equation, but also satisfies the given initial condition. Further, the solution which contains arbitrary constant is called general solution and solution free from arbitrary constant which is obtained from the general solution by giving particular values to the arbitrary constant is called a particular solution of a differential equation. Now to summarize general and particular solutions of a differential equation, consider the differential equation d square y upon dx square plus y is equal to 0. The solution of the differential equation is a function phi that will satisfy it that is when the function phi is substituted for the unknown y that is dependent variable in the given differential equation LHS becomes equal to RHS. Now let us discuss some examples to understand what do you mean by general solutions of differential equations. Example 1 find the general solution of differential equation dy by dx is equal to 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x. For the solution the given differential equation is dy upon dx is equal to 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x that implies dy by dx is equal to 2 sin square x upon 2 upon 2 cos square x upon 2 that implies dy is equal to 2 tan square x upon 2 dx. On integrating we have integral dy is equal to integral tan square x upon 2 dx plus c that implies y is equal to integral sec square x upon 2 minus 1 dx plus c that implies y is equal to 2 tan x upon 2 minus x plus c which is the general solution of the given differential equation. Another example find the general solution of the differential equation dy upon dx is equal to 1 plus y square upon 1 plus x square. For the solution since 1 plus y square is not equal to 0 therefore separating the variables the given differential equation can be written as dy upon 1 plus y square that is equal to dx upon 1 plus x square. On integrating both the sides of the first equation we get integral dy upon 1 plus y square is equal to integral dx upon 1 plus x square 
or tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus c which is the general solution of equation 1. Another interesting question here, find the general solution of the differential equation sec square x into tan y dx plus sec square y into tan x dy is equal to 0. For the solution, the given differential equation is sec square x into tan y dx plus sec square y into tan x dy is equal to 0 can be written as sec square x upon tan x dx plus sec square y upon tan y dy is equal to 0. On integrating, we have integral sec square x upon tan x dx plus sec square y upon tan y dy is equal to c. That implies log of modulus tan x plus log of modulus tan y is equal to c. That implies log of modulus tan x into modulus tan y is equal to c. That means tan x tan y is equal to plus or minus e to the power c. That implies tan x tan y is equal to a where a is equal to plus or minus e to the power c which is the general solution of the differential equation given. Another example here find the general solution of differential equation dy upon dx is equal to 1 plus x square into 1 plus y square. For the solution, given differential equation is dy upon dx is equal to 1 plus x square into 1 plus y square. That can be written as dy upon 1 plus y square is equal to 1 plus x square into dx. On integrating, we have integral dy upon 1 plus y square is equal to integral 1 plus x square into dx plus c. That implies tan inverse y is equal to x plus x cube upon 3 plus c, which is the general solution of differential equation. Another example, find the general solution of differential equation dy by dx is equal to e to the power x plus y plus e to the power minus x plus y. Look at the solution. Given differential equation is dy upon dx is equal to e to the power x plus y plus e to the power minus x plus y. That implies dy by dx is equal to e to the power y taking it as common e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. That implies dy upon e to the power y is equal to e to the power x plus e to the power minus x into dx. On integrating, we have integral of e to the power minus y dy is equal to integral of e to the power x plus e to the power minus x into dx plus c. That implies e to the power minus y upon minus 1 is equal to e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus c. That implies e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus y is equal to e to the power x plus c, which is the general solution of the differential equation. Another example here, find the general solution of differential equation dy upon dx is equal to sin inverse x. For the solution, given differential equation is dy by dx is equal to sin inverse x, that implies dy is equal to sin inverse x dx. On integrating, we have integral dy is equal to integral sin inverse x into 1 dx plus c. That implies y is equal to sin inverse x into x minus integral 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square into x dx plus c. That implies y is equal to x into sin inverse x minus of minus half integral 1 minus x square raised to minus 1 upon 2 into minus 2 x dx plus c. That implies y is equal to x into sin inverse x plus half into 1 square raised to half upon half plus c. That implies y is equal to x into sin inverse x plus square root of 1 minus x square plus c, which is the general solution of the differential equation. 
Now, let us solve some examples which involve particular solutions of differential equations. Example 1, find the particular solution of x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to 2 x square plus x, when y is equal to 1, when x is equal to 0. For the solution, given differential equation is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to 2 x square plus x. That implies dy by dx is equal to 2 x square plus x upon x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. That implies dy is equal to 2 x square plus x upon x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 into dx. On integrating, we have integral dy is equal to integral 2 x square plus x upon x square plus 1 into x plus 1 into dx plus c. Now, 2 x square plus x upon x square plus 1 into x plus 1 can be written as a x plus b upon x square plus 1 plus c upon x plus 1. 2 x square plus x is equal to a x plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x square plus 1. Put x plus 1 is equal to 0, that gives x is equal to negative 1. That implies 2 minus 1 is equal to c into 1 plus 1, that gives the value of c as half. Therefore, c is equal to 1 upon 2. Now, put x is equal to 0, that implies 0 is equal to b plus c that implies b is equal to minus 1 upon 2. Compare the coefficients of x square, we have 2 is equal to a plus c, that implies a is equal to 2 minus c, that gives 2 minus 1 upon 2 and the value of a obtained is 3 upon 2. Now, substituting this value in the second equation, y is equal to integral 3 upon 2 into minus 1 upon 2 divided by x square plus 1 plus half upon x plus 1 into dx plus c. That implies y is equal to 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 integral 2 x dx upon x square plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 integral dx upon x square plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 integral 1 upon x plus 1 dx plus c. This implies y is equal to 3 upon 4 log of modulus x square plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 into tan inverse x plus 1 upon 2 log modulus x plus 1 plus c. This is the third equation. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to 3 upon 4 log 1 minus 1 upon 2 into tan inverse 0 plus 1 upon 2 into log 1 plus c, that implies the value of c is equal to 1. Now, substituting these values in equation 3, we have y is equal to 3 upon 4 log of modulus x square plus 1 minus 1 upon 2 into tan inverse x plus 1 upon 2 log modulus x plus 1 plus 1, which is the particular solution of the differential equation. So, students, today we discussed about the general and particular solutions of differential equations. In the next session, we shall study about formation of differential equations whose general solutions are given. Thank you.